In. So looking at the front, one half in a decimal is what? And please use the real math words. So I should have hands up. We're looking at one half. One half into a decimal is Brian Krish. Can you say it in real math words? Five tenths. Five tenths, good. And then two halves, or two over two, ends up being what, Alex? One. One, one third is what, Ernesto? Um, three hundredths? No, thirty three hundredths. Do we agree? Uh, thirty three hundredths. So if I write thirty three hundredths right now, I would write this, right? Who can talk? That's what, is that what you have on your paper? That's 100% what you have on your paper? Who can respond to what Ernesto said? And make sure you're talking to Ernesto. Oh, Ernesto can respond to what Ernesto said. Oh, can you put the line on top? The what does that line look like? And does it have to be 0.33? Does it have to be 33 hundredths? First off, what line is he talking about? He's talking about putting a line over a three. What line? Is he talking about Francisco? Okay, the line that tells you, hey, this is going to keep going on and on and on, and I'm not going to write threes all the way around the room and off of my paper and go on forever. Like, it's a signal to anyone that's reading math that that number is going to repeat. Does he need both threes, though? Do you have the bar over one three? How do you have this written, Ernesto, like that? Yes. Is there another easier way that we could write this? Do we need both of those? Talk to your partner. Do we need both of those threes? Hands up when you think you have an answer. Do we need both of those threes? Leslie? Why? Would that be okay? Sean Keith? Like three tenths, but since we know that, we know that it's going to keep on going, so so that means like threes keep on going, so then we know it's 0.333. Okay, CJ? You could write it like that, but like if, if it was a problem, mm -hmm. it was 0.233 in the period, mm. put it over the second bucket to show that it's 0.233 in the period. I think it's in the period. Okay, so you're saying if it's like this, then you know it's 636363? Six, three, six, three, six, three? Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. If there's two different numbers, then you need more than one. If I was going to say that this is going to keep going 6363, three, six, three, then you would need two numbers under that bar. Marcos? I think it depends on what the situation is because if it's like just one number repeating, you should just put the first number. Okay. If it's two numbers, you have to put both digits. And sometimes it could be three numbers, and sometimes it could be four. And when we go on the back of your paper, we're going to run into situations where there's a number, and then after that number, the numbers repeat. So we would actually only put the bar over the number that repeats. So we're going to run into that situation too. Alex? When we, when we change a decimal into a percent, why don't we need both three? Mm. Do you understand what he's talking about? Did everyone hear his question? Can you say it one more time? I've got a couple people that are taking mini breaks right now. When you change this into a percent, are you going to need both threes? Turn and talk to your partner. Hey, he's jumping ahead. It's going to come up to.